Welcome back to Ecom Ranks. If you are looking to set up shipping settings within Google Merchant Center, then this video is quite useful for you. Uh, I will guide from start to finish how are you able to set up shipping settings within your Google Merchant Center. Okay, to do so, firstly you have to open shipping settings within uh, Google Merchant Center. That's easy, you can do it. After uh, opening your shipping settings, this page will get opened and from here you have to add three information okay for the shipping service name you can add any uh, shipping name assigned like this is my website name and I have added a uh, shipping along with it and the countries that I have used uh, to deliver my products okay so I am delivering within United States I have selected it and my currency is uh, USD and I have selected this option after clicking uh, after selecting USD you have to select the delivery location uh, and where can customer receive their order with this service or product so we we'll, uh, add the customer address simply just take this option and then click on this next button after clicking on the next button it will uh, give us two options for the delivery times how do you want to determine delivery time for this service from this option if you have a shopify website simply click this option set a range of delivery time and then you have to, uh, there will be an other option for setting up the delivery time and holiday shipping cutoff okay to do so uh, the first thing uh, we have to do is we have to select the order cutoff time uh, it's the time uh, when you will ship your order okay so let me select it's uh, at 3 p.m And from my time zone, I have to select Eastern time zone. Simply, I have uh, selected this option Eastern standard time zone. And uh, it would ask for the order handling time. Okay, so this is my website and my order handling time is uh, uh, one day. Okay, so the, the thing I have to do is uh, I have to add the order handling time zero to one day and days fulfilled it would be monday to friday okay so these are my business days and it would take zero to one day to handle uh, 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 the order or uh, let me give it one to two days the handling period so now i have to set the transit time so what's the transit times it's the time it takes the carrier to deliver a product to a customer okay so it would take uh, around three to seven days for my carrier to ship uh, the order so simply i would select three to seven days and then monday to friday these are my business days so uh, the next thing we have to do is we have a holiday shipping cutoff if you have any holiday shipping offer uh, then you can fill it according to your requirements over here and keep updated your shipping settings with, uh, of your Shopify store shipping settings within your uh, Google Merchant shipping settings over here. Uh, after uh, I don't have any holiday shipping cutoff, I have a standard rate and, and standard delivery time. So let me click on this next button and once click on it, it would now ask for the shipping cost. Okay, to do uh, the settings of the shipping cost, you have multiple options over here. Okay, so if you are offering free shipping over certain amount, then you have to tick this option. And uh, if you are giving free shipping for order over 35 and order over 50, okay, so uh, the, if the uh, price or order value is below than 50, what are you charging? So just add $10 or anything according to your requirements. If you have flat shipping rate or if you are doing free shipping to all over your uh, e-commerce store then uh, you have to take this option it's a good option for e-commerce store owners more, more than 34 percent of the uh, customers will proceed to the checkout if they get free shipping so it's a good percentage go for it if you are able to offer free shippings in this option uh, the range based if you if your shipping settings uh, rate will depends upon the order value then you have to select this range based and uh, you have to set it up over here and if you have a flat rate like if you are charging ten dollar for all the orders simply uh, select this option and if you are have any carrier 
and select this option from here you have to select the service priority mails retail ground priority mail express media mail and all these things uh, the, uh, the shipping settings that i am doing is uh, i have uh, my on shipping so the it's shipping within the united states and i have three settings okay uh, the, the orders above dollar 35 it will uh, uh, um, it will be free shipping and if the order is ranges between 1 to 19.99 it will charge dollar 2.9 and if uh, the customers will take an order between 20 dollar to 34.99 it will charge this price okay to do this settings uh, we have to click on this advanced option and from here we have to add a row over here and it will it's asking me the shipping rate so let me write my shipping rate and this is my shipping rate and from here it would ask for certain dimensions uh, the, uh, one dimension i have to select is order price okay so now it's asking uh, zero to uh, the first range okay so the first range is uh, the one to dollar 19.99 so simply select this over here and uh, from here it's asking for the fixed rate and what i am charging dollar 2.97 okay so now i have another condition so i have to tick this option add row and uh, uh, from here i have to do the setting 20 dollar to 34.99 what i will charge i will charge fixed rate of 4.97 okay so the uh, now i have to click on this plus row and uh, in this uh, plus row settings it would ask for uh, the maximum range i have to set it empty because orders above dollar 35 i would offer free shipping so from on here i would say zero dollar i would charge uh, it would be free shipping and then i have to click on this continue button let me delete it and add it again okay so uh, there is no need to add another row it's asking for dollar 34 or more so simply select uh, this zero option add this zero field and then hit the continue button okay so our shipping settings have been added according to our shopify store shipping settings and after doing this setting you have to click on this save button and once you click on this save button it would say that well done you have added a shipping service to your google merchant center account uh, this is a quiet overview of the shipping settings and then you have to click on this continue button after clicking on it all our shipping settings have been set up successfully now the next step is called how you are able to add your products in next video i will guide you how are you able to add your products to google merchant center if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching